All right, my people, welcome back. What Igbo told Benin court in camera reveals. All right, my people, the news in details. Sunday, Igbo, what he said in camera. Well, Ibrahim Salami, the lawyer to Sunday Igbo, has revealed that the Yoruba nation agitator told the Benin appeal court in a session that lasted up till midnight on Monday. All right, on today's Igbo Ho told the court that he fled Nigeria to avoid being killed. His lawyer revealed to a correspondent of the nation. All right, meanwhile, Igbo Ho also explained his mission in Kotono Salami, a professor of law in a Benin Noise University, said while defending himself on the criminal allegations put on his head by Nigerian. Igboho told the judges that he had never been tried for any crime in his life. Well, Igboho said he had neither been invited to any police station nor any formal charges brought against him as a result of his agitation for the separation of Yoruba nation from Nigeria. He explained that he was only trying to free his people from the atrocities of killer s men which made him incur the wrath of some powerful individuals in government all right when the judge asked him how and when he entered the benin republic who housed him and then who took him to the airport he told the court that his coming to the benin republic was to flee from his traducers who wanted to kill him in nigeria he stressed that he spent less than one day in Kotono before attempting to travel to Germany, Salami added. What amazed me is the fact that the judge was explicit that Igboho's continued detention is not as a result of his issues with Nigeria, that he is being sent to prison because of infractions committed here in the Benin Republic. All right, Mewai Salami said Igboho was sent to prison to allow investigation into how he came into Kutono and why. Salami said no date had been fixed for the continuation of trial because the authorities would need time to investigate how Igboho entered the country. Well, he said Benin Republic law allows Igboho to be admitted to bail pending the outcome of the investigation all right and then on why he on why the trial is behind the curtain he said it is when it is when investigations are concluded that the judgment can be read in the open court or MY salami said igboho's trial which began from an extradition request from the nigerian authorities is now centered solely on what on whether or not he broke the laws of the Benin Republic. All right, meanwhile, the primary tax now is to establish whether the embattled activist entered Kotonu through legal or illegal routes and uh, what his mission was meant to achieve, the lawyer said. All right, meanwhile, Salami said the Nigerian authorities have not filed any papers against Igboho. We have also not seen any written complaints from Nigeria being placed before the court. It is a case between the Benin Republic and Sunday Igboho, nothing more, he explained. While meanwhile explaining why Monday's proceedings was prolonged, Salami said it needed to be so because the trial is being handled by three judges whose functions and their powers are different but complementary. Prosecution judge, investigative judge, and a judge of liberty or detention. Well, he said the matter before the prosecution judge office did not commence until 2 p.m. Reason, the enormity of tax 
the prosecutor's office needed to handle all right the trial then moved to the investigative judge by 3 p.m lasting till around 6 p.m well it was the judge of liberty or detention who took over from his investigative colleague at night that ruled that more time is that more time is needed for the court to establish the true reasons behind Igboho's coming to the Benin Republic. All right, my people, and uh, this had been said so far. What Igboho told Benin court in camera? Well, the fact remains that Sunday Igboho is a freedom fighter and then uh, he had been able to explain his reasons. All right, and uh, very well, majority of people definitely, I know would understand this story okay and then he has said it that in order for him not to be killed he had to come to benin republic from there he will be traveling to germany that had been his mission well the truth now remains that chief sunday Iboho will definitely in no time we have believed that will be vindicated all right my people it's so unfortunate that chief sunday Igbo is in this kind of no situation right now but we are so sure by the power in the name of god that he would be released in no time yes because this man has done nothing wrong he's just trying to you no know, lift his people he's trying to save his people from destruction Hmm. Well, you can imagine somebody trying to say, oh, what you people are doing to us is unfair. Since you people are not ready to take care of us, then let us go our separate ways. Is that too big to ask? And that is the condition, the situation to which Chief Sunday Bo has you know, found himself. Well, majority of people right now, most especially the, you know, Nigerian citizens in the diaspora, they have been of the opinion that God forbid to come back the second time as a Nigerian. <laughs> because, you no, know, the level to which the country has put a lot of people, in fact, the condition to which they have put a lot of people, my brother, you will not believe what many people outside the country are saying most especially the you no know, nigerian citizens over there they have been like god forbid i'm no longer coming to this country because they are saying it that if they come it's either they are being kidnapped or they are being killed for no reason you can imagine you can imagine the level to which the country has put a lot of people it's so unfortunate that Chief Sunday Bo is facing this and then our prayer has been that you no know, repeatedly we have been praying that he would be released and then so shall it be in no time. All right, my people, that has been it on this one. What more can we say? Me well, let me have your take on this and remember to subscribe for more updates. Thanks and God bless.